Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. If you would like to see how I made this brown and black blingy canvas, then please keep watching. Okay, so for today's DIY, I'm going to be using an 18 by 36 inch canvas. My colors, black, Daler Rowney. I get this from Walmart. It's a really good paint. It's nice and thick. I have Territorial Beige Apple Barrel. This is a light brown from my local Dollar Tree. It's a new type of a paint that they've come out, and this is a really, really pretty brown. Champagne Pearl Craft Smart. It's a metallic. One of my favorite, Rich Espresso Deco Art, also a metallic. My bling, I've got my gold crushed filler glass, Ashland brand from Michaels. My glitter, this is cinnamon. It's a large, chunky. It's a really pretty color. I just have it in a little uh, bowl here so you can see it a little bit better. This is champagne, extra fine recollections. I have my Triart liquid glass to adhere my crushed glass and glitter. I have some painter's tape, one of my Iorta brushes. I will leave a link in my description box. I get these from Amazon. I really love these brushes. And I'm not 100% sure. It all depends on the design that I end up doing. I have my gloss heavy gel Liquitex. I love this stuff. I used this in my last video. I will leave a complete list of everything that I end up using in my description box below and I will point it out as I'm using it. So yeah, you guys, let's get started. Okay, a couple of things before I get started. I ended up putting some painter's tape just along the center of my canvas because the canvas is so long, I'm not going to be able to stand right behind it. So this is just going to help me do my striping effect a lot easier and not have to worry about maintaining um, the line here where my black is going to be. Uh, normally I would just put a, a pencil mark there. And another thing, I'm going to have to do an extra painting step after my stripes and my black is completely dry because I'm using the uh, gold crushed filler glass and you can see the paint color that is underneath when this is all dried and brushed off. So what I'm going to have to do is my design that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be painting it in a solid brown. And you'll see what I mean later on in the video. Okay, so I'm going to start with the light brown from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and then some Territorial Beige Apple Barrel. Some rich espresso deco art. And the champagne pearl craftsmart. I'm just distributing the colors evenly throughout my canvas. Load my brush. Oh, I got way too much paint on here. Ooh, did I ever overdo it with the paint? <laughs> That's okay. I'm adding some rich espresso because I can see the canvas 
underneath. I would suggest um, that you do a base coat first, which I didn't do. I want a nice soft blend with my stripes. So I'm going over this quite a few times. Now with a very soft touch. And I'm removing my tape right away here. Oh, that's such a pretty brown combination, but you know what? I'm gonna have to go over this one more time after this dries. I should have put a base coat of brown underneath before I did my striping. I thought I would have had enough paint on here to, to have full coverage of my canvas, but I don't. I can see in spots here where the canvas is showing through. I'll see what it looks like once it's dry, but I think I'm going to have to go over it one more time, which is very disappointing. But you know what? I'm making the mistake so you guys don't have to. Okay, and now I'm going to paint the bottom portion of my canvas in black. This is Daler Rowney. I get it from Walmart. Just using the same brush, I went ahead and washed it. I'm going to let this completely dry and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so unfortunately I'm going to have to do my brown striping one more time. I did not get good coverage. As you can see, you can see the canvas uh, coming through. And I think that is partly due to the less expensive paints, the cheaper brands like the Apple Barrel and then this Dollar Tree Brown, even though I really, really like those colors. And the Champagne Pearl is more of a translucent paint because I've done dark colors before and uh, with my striping effect and it didn't um, affect it. But I think if you're using the less expensive paints, the best thing to do is to put a base coat of brown down first. And that's okay, we'll just do it over again. So I'm going to do basically the same thing, but I'm not going to use as much paint this time. Okay, yes, that's much, much better. Now that is full coverage. Very easy to uh, repaint if, <laughs> if things are wrong, right? Very easy to fix. Okay, so the paint is all dry on my canvas and I am absolutely loving the brown and black combination. And now that it's dry, I'm going to change my design for my crushed glass and glitter. Initially, I was going to come across my canvas and then on the ends, I was going to curve upwards and then do the same here and go curve it down. But for this particular piece, I think it'll be a lot more elegant looking if I just did a nice wide band of crushed glass and glitter. So the first thing that I want to do is, I think I'm going to come up I'm going to come up four inches and come down four inches. 
I'm going to use the rich espresso to paint the um, center because if I don't paint this the same color, after I brush my crushed glass and glitter off, I'm going to see underneath the gold crushed filler glass because it's, it's not mirrored, it's more like a glass. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint in between my two uh, pencil marks here. Okay, so my paint is all dry in the center and I ended up putting two coats um, on the face and on the side. I didn't really need to put two coats on the top because this is going to be covered in crushed glass and glitter and like I said earlier, the reason is so that it's the same color underneath my crushed glass. But I did want to put the two coats on the side because I'm not 100% sure yet. I ended up doing the black here, then the rich espresso, and then the combination of all the browns here. And so far I'm liking that look. So my next step is to add some gloss heavy gel. I thought it would look really, really pretty to have a band of the gloss heavy gel mixed with the rich espresso to give it some texture um, here and then here as well on the sides. I just started taping off this side. So what I'm doing is I'm taping off where my colors meet and then I'm coming in approximately one inch. Now this is something that you don't really need to do. I think it would look equally as pretty just with the crushed glass and glitter. But I just thought I would um, give this just some extra glam. Okay, so I have my gloss heavy gel. I'm going to put some on my plate here. What's nice about this is it dries shiny. I really like using modeling paste, but it doesn't dry shiny. And then I, um, I have to add a sealer over top of it as well. Whereas this, it dries shiny and it's basically sealed. Okay, and then I have my rich espresso. Just gonna add a little bit in here. Okay, I'm just going to get my sides done here. Okay, and then just kind of play with it until I get a design that I like on here. Some twirlies. Lift up with my palette knife, get some peaks and valleys here. Okay, and I want to take my tape off right away. So I'm going to let this gel completely dry because I don't want to start putting my crushed glass and glitter on here with my Triart liquid glass because I do not want any glitter to go over top of this 
gel medium. I want it to be just plain the way it is. So once this is all dry, I will bring you back. Okay, the gel is all dry on my canvas and I am loving these two bands. It just brings this piece to the next level and it is gorgeous just the way it is um, with the exception of the paint job down the center here because I wasn't I wasn't concerned about that because I knew I was going to be covering it with crushed glass and glitter. So now it's time to put on my bling and I'm going to be using my Triart liquid glass and I just have it in a squeeze bottle here. And I just have a foam brush and I'm going to push it up towards my gel. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with my sides yet, if I'm just going to leave them um, plain with the paint. Okay, I'm going to start with my gold crushed filler glass. Ooh, got some nice big pieces in here. And I'm going to add a lot of the crushed glass this time, just because of this design. Okay, and then I'm going to take my cinnamon chunky. And I found some brown in my stash. I got this from my local Dollarama. Thought maybe I would try some of this in here. Okay, and then I have my champagne extra fine. And I'm just going to finish covering up any of that liquid glass that's exposed. Okay, I'm going to let my liquid glass completely dry and I'll bring you back and we'll brush it off. Okay, so this is all dry and now I'm going to brush it off. Okay, I'm going to give this a quick vacuum with the soft brush on my vacuum cleaner and then I'll display it for you. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I love this design with these um, taller, narrower canvases. And I love the brown and black combination. 
And I'm so happy that I put on that um, heavy gel. It just sets it off. Now, if you do do something like this, um, you'll notice here, I didn't bring my painter's tape up far enough into my stripes. There's just a hair showing through. So just keep that in mind if you do end up doing something like this. And that cinnamon glitter, oh, it is so pretty. Now this is really weird. Um, my lighting is making my paint look gray up top. I'm just gonna shut my lighting off and see if you're there. Uh, see, and then when I step back, it's brown again. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what's going on. And then I ended up putting the crushed glass and glitter around my sides. I actually put that on with some E6000 so it wouldn't slide off my canvas. I've mentioned that before in my other videos. Now I'm going to turn this around and put the black up top. Okay, there, now it has the black up top. Let me know in the comments which way you like it better, you guys, with the black on the top or the black on the bottom. I'm undecided. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel, it feeds the algorithm, and it lets me know that you like this type of a video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. And as always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch and God bless.